welcome to Chris on Tour. I made it to the Mount Rainier National Park now. I'll have uh, food for a week here. Should be enough, hopefully. <laughs> To Egan's viewpoint now, that's the first glacier. Um, when I will go around it, we will see probably many more of those. Yeah, weather forecast looks pretty good for the next days at least. So I got my tent set up now. Um, the way it works, it's you pay $25 if you have a car or $10 if you just walk in like me today. And then you can stay up to two weeks. Um, yeah, on all the campsites basically. And uh, you have to put the permit here. I want to check if my inflatable mattress is uh, finally fixed. I fixed six holes now, so I hope I got them all now. Um, yeah, but I thought I have a nice backup for the next site, so that's really nice. And we'll go to some waterfalls now. They're not far away from here because there's nothing else to do here now. Just crossed a nice suspension bridge and uh, from now on it's uphill again. <laughs> All the way up there I guess, uh, getting close to Rainer again. <clears throat> yeah, it's really really hot today. I think today is going to be the hottest day, about 24 degrees. Which is quite a lot for uh, yeah, the end of September. <laughs> the stranger actually just checked my permit and he, uh, I asked him how much this glacier is retreating when he says uh, not a lot because it's fully covered with stones and rocks and yeah dirt so this is all the glacier actually it just doesn't look like it you can just see the front part here and yeah, he gave me a little uh, advice to go on a little side track for about um, yeah two hours around way extra trip but i have time anyway so from there i should have a nice view on the top part of the glacier so that's nice already at the Mystic Lake now, so I think I missed the turn off that the guy had described to me. Yeah, so campsite number two is ready now, and this time with a really nice spot for the hammock actually, so I'm going to sleep there tonight. Uh, I set up my tent as well, just in case it rains a lot, then I can retreat in there, but should be good weather actually still for the next few days. It was time to get some washing done finally. <laughs> is actually pretty full. Uh, I think it's uh, five groups including me and one of them actually saw a bear in the, te in the camp area so it's interesting. Uh, I put my music on so they know that I'm, that I'm here. <laughs> so now I know why they call the Mystic uh, Camp Mystic Camp. It was really really foggy and still is here actually. I hope it will, it will go away soon. And yeah last night was also really cold. <laughs> I have to fix my hammock constellation a little bit, maybe put the, the tent inside as well for some extra insulation because from the bottom it was really cold and I was too lazy to get up in the middle of the night <laughs> because it took quite a while to get in there with a sleeping bag. <laughs> yeah, the sun actually came out for about five minutes uh, <clears throat> on my way up uh, from the valley 
And now at the point there's a, a little extra way up this mountain, which I can't see yet, but uh, I hope it will come out again soon. It's called the Skyscraper Mountain. It's actually uh, clearing up right now, so you can check it out. Yeah, so I'm at top uh, after 10 minutes. Uh, it's uh, 2,200 meters roughly, so it's the highest point so far. And it's really clearing up nicely now. I still can't see uh, Rainer, so I will wait here until I can see uh, the volcano again. But uh, yeah, the summit here is really cool. Skyscraper Mountain, go there if you can. And now I'm going down here on the other side. I'll get up to that mountain and be very, very close to uh, Rainer. And yeah, all the glaciers, it's just amazing. That's the highlight so far, obviously, and um, 2,300 meters is also the new highest point now, and um, yeah, I have to get back now because I think I'm actually getting sunburned here. It's quite strong with the reflection of the ice. So this is the viewpoint close to the camp. The tree here is a little bit in the way, but I think I can, can, I can go down uh, these rocks there. And yeah, come back for uh, sunrise. Sun should rise from there, so if I'm lucky and it's not cloudy like this morning, I will have some nice colors on the glacier. So. Yeah, but now I'm ready to go down to camp and uh, yeah, hopefully it's a bit more open. The other camps are really closed, so... Um It's 7 a.m. now, I had a very bad night, uh, my full body hurts. Uh, and I woke up for the sunrise and it's actually a really nice one, so I'm rushing up now to the viewpoint to see the glacier. Charge my batteries a little bit. The sunrise uh, visitor center up there. It's closed for a week now, but uh, I could uh, charge in the basement. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm going back to the Wonderland Trail, I'm heading about 20 kilometers to Summerland, one of the most popular camps, I think. So let's see if I meet some nice people there. I met some nice people here on the parking lot already, and um, yeah, the weather is supposed to be good until Friday, and then it might get nasty on Saturday and Sundays.
Yeah, so I made it to, I made it to the Summerland camp after a three hours walking time and it's actually a really nice camp. There's a clear view on the volcano from a lot of spaces here. Yeah, I thought I would take site number five, but then I realized there's no place for the hammock, so I will actually go up here to site number two, where I can hang up the hammock because my back hurts so much I can't sleep another night on the floor without the mattress. <laughs> well, that was nice to pass the time. I built a little tarp now. Uh, <laughs> I think it will work out actually. Let's see if it rains. <laughs> Otherwise I've done a lot of work for nothing, but yeah. I have nothing else to do anyway, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I slept much better in the hammock actually, and um, yeah, it's uh, pretty cold still though, but uh, Made it up for sunrise again. Sunrise itself is not so spectacular, but it's very really nice seeing the light coming up on the rain now. The summer night camp was really nice, and so now I'm heading to Nickets Creek Camp. Um, and I think it's gonna be uh, mostly through the forest again. <laughs> just downhill this time, I just have to get a little bit further up uh, to something called the Panhandle Gap. Somewhere over there. Oh, my back really hurts actually. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is a panhandle gap. <laughs> Pretty nice place and I think a good place to take a little rest as well. towards uh, Indian Bar is actually much much nicer than I thought it would be. Also much more uphill <laughs> and uh, yeah according to the ranger once I get to Indian Bar the rest to uh, Nickel Creek will just be in the forest again so I'm enjoying the views here while I have them. Yeah, still going uphill. Uh, actually, I checked the map again. It's uh, quite a lot of uphill today. <laughs> but now I should really get to the point where I'm going down into the forest. And yeah, you can see Rainer again. It was covered in the clouds the whole day now. And uh, yeah, another beautiful view here. Whew. But yeah, I'm running out of battery and out of food. I have two and a half more days, so that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually stung by a bee on the way down. Uh, didn't expect that to happen. Um, and now I'm here in the Nicholas Creep camp with a hammock and tarp. <laughs> this time a bit less complicated everything. Um, and yeah, it's nobody around just like the first night. reflection lakes now and uh, now it's getting nice again finally so yeah I think I have two more miles to uh, Paradise River campsite yeah so I actually hitchhiked up to the visitor center here in um, Paradise and yeah it does look really nice with the meadows here and full fall bloom um, so I'm actually charging my batteries a little bit. My phone should be halfway there now. I'm gonna switch it with my camera. And if I'm lucky, I can even get some uh, yeah, food in this Kali Ranger station. Nice. 
Nice. Thank you. Thank you so much for sticking around to the very end of this video. I really hope you liked the content and if you did, please consider subscribing using the bell icon as well to make sure you're not missing any of the new content. And I would also love to hear about your feedback in the comments.